Hello guys, how's everyone doing today? In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to round numbers and how to truncate numbers in Roblox. Let us now go to our service script service. We're going to add a script. And in your script, just enter the following lines. Basically here, I have three different numbers. And in Roblox, to round numbers, you use the math.round function. The way it works is if this decimal portion of the number is 0.5, or above, it's going to round the number up to the next integer number. So 2.68 is going to become 3. But if the, if this portion is less than 0.5, it's going to round the number down to the, the next lower integer number. So 2.33 is going to become 2. All right, let's play and take a look. Let me go ahead and open up my output window. And here we are. So 2.33 after you round that number becomes 2. 2.68 becomes 3. So that one is being rounded up to the next higher integer. And 2 is just going to return 2. Next, we're going to look at how we round the number up and down in Roblox. So in Roblox, when you round the number down, you use math.floor. And when you round the number up, you use math.ceiling. Basically, math.floor, if your number has a decimal portion, it's just going to truncate that portion out. It's going to remove that portion. So you're going to be left with this whole number here. With math.ceiling, if your number has a uh, decimal portion, it's going to bring your whole number up to the next higher integer number. So 2 is going to become 3. Let's now play and take a look. So math.floor is just going to truncate the decimal portion out. So 2.3 is 2, 2.68 is 2. Because regardless of what's in the decimal portion, it's going to be removed. And 2 is going to stay at 2. But on the other hand, math.ceiling, math.seal, is going to bring it up to the next higher integer number. So 2.33 becomes 3, 2.68 becomes 3. And 2 is going to stay at 2 because it has no decimal portion. The next question is a math question for you. Pay attention because this could be on the test. So how would you round a number in Roblox if you're not allowed to use math.round? Well, in that case, you're going to use math.floor. Let's take a look. So here we're using math.floor. But before you use math.floor, you need to add 0.5 to the number first. Let's now play and take a look. So basically the way it works is we got 2.33. First we, we add 0.5 to it. So it becomes 2.83. And then we floor it so it becomes 2. So rounding 2.33 becomes 2. That is the correct answer. On the other hand, we have here 2.68. We're adding 0.5 to it. So it becomes 3.18. And flooring... 3.18, the answer is 3. So that one is also correct. If you're rounding 2.68, the answer should be 3. So that is the correct answer. And rounding 2 is going to give you 2 because we're adding 0.5 to it. So 2 becomes 2.5. And we're flooring 2.5, it becomes 2. So that's how you round a number without using the round function. In this case, we use the floor function instead. And now some of you may say, that's all very nice, it's very interesting, but it's not going to help my game because my game has dollar and cents. So how would I round an amount to the nearest cents? And the answer for that is you have to write a function. Let's now take a look at an example. So here are my three numbers. And down here, I'm printing out the original number and I'm using a function, round f for rounding floating decimal numbers. I'm passing in how many decimal places I want the result to have, and I'm passing in the original number. And I'm doing the same for B and C. So now let's take a look at the function. This is our rounding function right here, round F function. So again, we're passing in how many decimal places we want, and we're passing in the original number. First thing I'm doing here is 
I put it into a for loop. So depending on how many decimal places we want, we're going to keep multiplying the number, the original number by 10, by the number of decimal places that we want. So for dollar and cents, you would pass in two here, right? So our for loop is going to go from one to two, which means it's going to multiply your number that is being passed in by 10 two times. So it's going to multiply by 10 for the first iteration of the for loop, and it's gonna multiply it by 10 again for the second iteration. That means we multiply it by 100. And then we're gonna round that, that new number. After it's being multiplied by 10 so many times, we round that number. And finally, we're gonna divide that number, the result here, by the same number of times that we multiply by 10. So we've got, if we multiply it by 10 two times, right? We're gonna divide it by 10 two times. And that's gonna leave us with the result. And here we're returning the result. Down here, we're just printing out the result from that function. Let's play and take a look. So here we have the original number is 2.3324. Rounding that to the nearest sense, it's going to truncate out the 2 and 4, so we're left with 2.33. The next number is 2.6875, so we're rounding the 7 up, so it becomes 2.69. And for the last case, we have 2.23. Rounding that to the nearest uh, two decimal places, it gives us the same result, 2.23. Let's just make sure our function is working. So instead of rounding to the uh, nearest two decimal places, I want to round it to the nearest three decimal places. So I'm changing everything to three. Now let's play and take a look. All right, so for the first case, we're rounding 2.3324. It becomes 2.3324. 332, it drops the 4, that is correct. Um, the next case, 2.6875 becomes 2.688 because the 5 here is rounding up, so we got 0.688, so that is correct. And this one stays the same, that is also correct. Everyone, that's how you round and truncate numbers in your Roblox games in case you have numbers in your games. For example, if you have dollar and cents or if you're giving fractional points or fractional coins, whatever, that you need to round, this is how you do it. Thank you all for watching. Take care, everyone.